Okay, so now we move to problem two and three. So for problem two, you have a weighted coin that lands on tail twice, then it lands on head. If you flip it 10 times, what's the exact expected number of head you get? So like, um, we know that the probability of success is one over three because um, that's what the problem tells us. And we want to find so we flip it 10 times, n equals to 10. And also we know that this is just a binomial random distribution, right? So that's a binomial distribution because we are flipping the coins and each um each trial is a Bernoulli trial. Each trial is independent with each other. And that's how we define binomial random variable. And the expected value of um a binomial random variable. So like x is a binomial random variable and the expected value of that is just np, which is 10 over 3. That's easy because we just plug in the definition. For problem 3, this question is a little bit harder, especially with part b. So we look at part a first. On average, your friend has 10% of making a certain trick shot. Um, if you agree to let him try it until he make it, how many tries do you expect him, them to take? So we know that this is um geometric distribution because that's like um for the friends to fail, 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 fail until a success. Um like until he makes the shot he can end the process. Uh and we also know that the probability of success P is zero point one, is ten percent of making a certain trick shot. Um so we know that um the distribution we use in class only counts of the number of failures. So if you do remember the formula we have for expected value of x for a geom geometric distribution or um expected value of x is equal to one minus p over p, which is zero point nine uh over zero point one, which is nine. But this is this is when we define random variable x to be number of failure. But here we want to find the number of tries, number of trials. So don't forget to plus one because the last one has to be a success in order to end the process. For part B, this is a little bit trickier because um, we need to use something we might not have already learned. Um, so the question is, how many tries would you expect them to make um, a shot twice? Um, so we have to go back to the definition of expected value, which is this. Um, but there's another way to write the formula. It's expected value equals to the sum from k to 1 times the probability of x greater or equal to k. This is actually called tail sum. You can like look up online. And the proof of these two are equal is like rather um, easy because if you expand the sum, that's just um, 1 times the probability of x equal to k plus um, 2 times the probability Oh, that's x equal to 1 and 2 times the probability of x equal to 2 so maybe we can write in this way um plus another x equal to 2 um and plus 3 um x probability of x equal to 3 but if you look vertically um this is just the probability of x greater or equal to 1. And this is just the probability of x greater or equal to 2. And this is the probability of x greater or equal to 3. So if like we look from different perspective, the, 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 the way we wrote sum can be different. Um, so for this question, we actually need the formula of tail sum. Um, so after we have already know what tail sum is, we move um, to now we need to just need to find the probability of taking at least k twice to make the shot twice. 
So that's what the question is asking. This is similar to um, in the first k minus 1 shots, there is 0 or 1 success. So like, um, we're looking for x greater or equal, or, um, so what's the probability of x greater or equal to k? Um, that's just 1 minus p times k minus 1, because that's when like, um, we have no shots um, in the first k minus 1 um, sh um, trials. And we can also like make one shot in the first k minus one shot. Um, that's just like from from the k minus one place, we choose one place to be the shot. Um, so that's k minus one times p, because like we need that shot to be successful, and we also need um the other k minus two shots to be unsuccessful. Um, so. So we can use the tail sum definition written here to write expected value of x as the summation of x equal to 1 to infinity that 1 minus p to the k minus 1 plus k minus 1 times p times 1 minus p k minus 2. So that's just like simply plug in equations. Um, and we can like um expand the sep split the sum um into two infinite sum and we look at that this is just um a geometric series and we know that the geometric series is just like um equals to one minus one uh one over one minus r and r here just equals 1 minus p. So this equals 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus p, which is just 1 over p. And for this, this is a little bit trickier because we need to like employ um idea of like changing index. Um so 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 like look at the index of k um when k equals to 1 k minus 1 equals to 0. So actually it doesn't, the first term doesn't exist. The, the, so k equals to 1 does not exist. So instead of written k equals to 1, we can like simplify this sum to start with, um, so like, um, to start with um, k equals to 2 to the infinity, k minus 1. Um, like we can read in write in this way because k minus one doesn't exist, and then like we can reindex, um, we let like m equals to k, uh, minus one, and we just plug in m, so that's just the summation from m equals to one to infinity, times, m. Multiply, uh, probability of p, and m minus one, so yeah, this whole process is purely algebraic um there's no like nothing related to what we are uh, learning here but it's just like a way of simply simplify the sum and we um and we see that um this is basically the 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 expectation of getting a geometric series um so this is one over p so if you are confused, you can like look back at the video on like how I do it step by step. Um and and as you can see, um so the uh the, the expected value of x here is actually equal to this part plus this part, which is two over p. And here p is equal to zero point one. So that means the expected value here is 2 over 0 0.1 which is 20 so we need to make 20 shots um to 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 be to like for our expectation to make um two successful shot for his friend and also like this is actually if i remember correct is this is negative binomial distribution 
yeah if you are interested you can also like look up this um distribution online 